Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and that is my inspiration piece, and those are my two scoops. And this is a 16 by 16 inch pre-primed black canvas that I have left a white area in the center, and I made the center look like the shell somewhat by using sidewalk chalk. I'm going to move my shell out of the way. I have some beautiful colors left over from a couple few days ago and they're so pretty I'm really entertaining the idea of using them as the basis for what I'm going to grab for this shell. I may even put a stick in there, a skewer in there and just go ahead. That was a color shifting purple flash from Folk Art. This is an Arteza pastel metallic green. I don't think I need a ton of paint. This is an Anita's white metallic that has some Venetian blue from Modern Masters in it. I have a little bit of Arteza Golden Hour. I have no idea what's going to happen now. I have some more Arteza. This is pretty much bordering on a, a pearl magenta. which I don't think I can have too much of. Here is some more Anita's White Metallic with some, just enough pink in it to make it look shell colored. And I have a risky one. My risky one is this color shifting sort of red <laughs> from Folk Art that I'm not a big fan of, but it will definitely make things more interesting. I'm gonna use a little bit of this color shifting blue also. I really want some orange in there, but I don't see how there's any place for it. But I do have a little bit of tangerine and I guess I'm gonna go for it. Please be okay. Yeah, I think I really like that. Now hopefully, oh, you know what? I didn't use any of my any of my gold from Decor, excuse me, it's a golden iridescent pearl, it's a golden iridescent by Golden. <laughs> and I'm going to put that aside, grab one of my little scoops, preferably my smaller of the two, and try and grab some of that paint. Boy, I'm nervous. Let's go in the midway. This may work. I'm really happy with those colors. And I'm happy to not have a super copious amount of paint left in my little scoop. Because that means I can manipulate it more easily toward the edges, which is definitely a plan. I'm going to grab a little bit right out of, right out of the dish, and then I'm going to have to decide what to do with that center. That might happen last. So I'm not unhappy with the scoop I chose first. I'm probably not going to be unhappy with the scoop, with the next scoop either. Okay, I got to remember halfway up is a good place to start. And if I don't like the shape of things, I have to be ready to change them. The black canvas surround is very, very fresh. So I'm a little nervous sticking my fingers in there to wipe up paint, so I'd like to not make any more mistakes by having to do that. I thought if I left a big enough white space in between that I could put another little stripe down in between, so that may still happen. But so far, the skewer is moving the paint the way I need it pretty well. 
I'm going to make sure to wipe off the bottom. This could take a while. It's not meant to be a quick process, I don't believe. I do have GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures so I can leave my paints heavy, which I'm planning on. I gotta not be a perfectionist now because nature is not a perfectionist either as far as that goes. Things are not always smooth and perfect. I really wanna take my paint And just grab a dab, a little dab will do you, and put it in that center. Right now, well, it's easy. That doesn't really bother me. I like it. And solidify the shape by just using the tip of the skewer. I feel like I'm ready for the next size scoop, so I'm going to go for it. I need to make sure to wipe my bottom off, in this case on my pants. I'm going to try and start a little closer to the center. And then go back again. And I'm liking that. That's okay with me. So far, so good. I wish I wasn't feeling like fussing. And I can still go back, like I said, and put little wedges in from the outside. I may not be able to do all of this at, at once, but I'm going to give it a try. Nudge that paint right toward the edge. Let it fill right in. So far, I'm pretty happy with my colors. My scoop has a little burr on the bottom of it, which is not making it terribly convenient. I'm just going to keep on moving as best I can. If I run out of colors, I know where to find more. to widen it out. I do have other scoops. I might need to grab one. So far so good. It'll be look a lot better once the chalk is gone. I think I mind having that other paint under there. I think you could do it without it for sure. That was a little risky. But I think I got away with it. We shall see. Just 
poking and nudging and wishing. <laughs> Leading, I'm leading the paint. I used to call it hurting. <laughs> I really think I'm going to want those outside wedges. I also really want a bigger scoop, but I'm wondering if I have one. That's really wide. It might not work. Might use up all my paint. Things got just very organic. I'm trying not to rush because I really would like this to turn out nicely. I should give myself a little bit of white because I can always put any color over white and the white will be act as paint leading paint. Paint will always flow to paint. Alright, so it's really down to this last bit and I want a little bit more orange I want a little bit more of everything, to tell you the truth. Which means starting with a little more Anita's. Because I'd like a healthy dose. And whatever that is... So some more, some more, <laughs> some more purple flash from folk art. A little more Anita's white metallic with pink in it. A little more golden hour. A little more orange. A little more of the Arteza. What I'm thinking is probably magenta. And a little more gold. So I have a good healthy scoop. Let's not forget the the. Venetian blue from Modern Masters, or the green from Arteza, which is just pastel green it's called. Okay, I'm nervous. And that's the bigger scoop I was using. Wow, no it isn't. <laughs> there it is. I'm not sure about that last one. It looks a little gummy, but I do think as soon as I put another stripe in between, that'll take care of it. I have a lot more paint in this particular stripe than the rest. I guess I thought I was going to do another stripe. I'd like to tip it, <laughs> but that's probably a very bad idea. I 
don't know what possesses me to think that there needs to be perfection in stripes on a shell. I'd at least, at least like it to meet the edge. I kind of want to blow on it, but I think what I'm really going to do is just add one of my favorite colors. And see if I can just convince myself that it's okay that that's in there. <laughs> okay, so what do I do with the edge? I think I'm just going to put whatever will drip down. That can be some of the most inconvenient beeping on the planet right now. I have two minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you. Probably a little bit less, <laughs> all things considered. I'm going to fill that in just a tiny bit so it looks like the mouth of the shell. And then we will see what happens. If I have any paint to do a stripe or two, I'll probably give that a shot. Definitely can't get rid of the chalk marks right now. Although, with a Q-tip, it's very tempting. I just want to merge those two things right there. I think that's going to happen. Feeling very brazen. Got a bunch of paint. But if I don't drip it on my canvas, I'll be really pleased. So I should be telling you guys stuff, and I'm not. <laughs> but you'll see it in another video. <laughs> I have over 2,000 videos. And if you ever need a link, I've got them all organized by topic and genre and the hundred. And you can find them that way also on my YouTube channel by going to playlists, all playlists, creative playlists. I think I'm going to like those stripes. Could have used a little tiny bit more paint. I'm going to quick like a bunny attempt to not get, really? To not get caught. That was a little iffy. Because the front edge of my scoop is kind of dragging. Must be a right direction and a wrong direction to drag and I'm not doing it the way I'm supposed to. But this is really the first time I've done it, anything like this exactly. Let's try and drag away, see how that works. So I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. I like those stripes. I will be playing with this for a couple of minutes after the recording ends. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. I'll see you and on. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery. Oh, well, I'm late. <laughs> Bye for now. Priscilla out.